very common error people get when working on their final project is local variable whatever referenced before assignment. And it can be very frustrating, I understand this. So how do we do it? Let's, let's say I have my scroll example here. And for some reason, I care about the total number of pixels the guy has moved. Because maybe later you're gonna have some endurance or something like this, who knows? So I say total equals zero. And of course, if he moves left, I'm gonna say total plus equals 10. And if he moves right, also total plus equals 10. And I run that. And as soon as I try and move, you guessed it. Local variable total reference before assignment. Hmm. Okay. How do I fix this? Well, there's a couple ways to do it. One, you'll see in most of my examples, I use a list for so many things. Now, currently, the guy has an X, a Y, and a velocity Y. If I wanted to store his total in here, I would just go here and say, that's his total. And then again, to make the code nice and clear, I would say total equals three. That's just the position in the list, spot three. And then here I would say guy at total and for both of them. And, and because, okay, so guy is a list, which means it's a reference to a spot in memory. When I pass this into here, what gets copied is that reference. When I change guy at total, it goes into that list and changes the list. It doesn't change where this is pointing, and so that's okay to change. The same would not be true. Okay, so that's the first method is use a list. Your methods, your sorry, your functions can change the contents of a list. I cannot here say guy guy equals some other list. That won't work. But I can change what's in the list. Okay, that's the first method. The second method is I can thread it through. What do I mean by this? Okay, so let's get rid of that. And totals back here. Which when I say thread it through, I mean pass it in and pass it back out. Okay, so that would look like this. Total. Total equals that. So I pass it in here. I could change the name, but there's no real advantage in that. And I return total. Now, if I was passing in two things, for whatever reason, maybe I want running to be able to change as well. But they, they go too far, I want to you know exit the game. So that again, pass it in and pass it back out. So there we go. Okay, so both those methods using a list or threading them through, they both preserve the black box. It keeps your functions very pure. Okay, now maybe you're not that concerned about purity. You're not that worried about black box. You're okay with your style being a little less than perfect. Okay, so how do we do it in that case? So I want to be able to change this total variable. This total here is a global variable. Global just means it's not, it's not limited to my function. So this keys is a local variable. If I try and print it out here, it doesn't exist. It only exists inside of move guy. Local variables are a good thing. They reduce the interaction of your variables. That's good. Now, if I want to have poor style, but I really want this to work, all I do is say global total. Okay? So those are your three options. They all work.
you're not convinced, I could print total. But I don't think you're going to see the run screen anyways, so this is mostly just for me. Okay, give that a run. And you're going to have to take my word for it, but it's working just fine. 